In this Name Hero review, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about Name Hero before deciding if you should get started with this web hosting provider. I will provide you with the most comprehensive review where I will break down the pricing structure and show you how to get the best deal currently available. Next, I will guide you through the entire sign up process and judge how easy their platform is to use. I will then grade their performance based on page load speed and uptime from the Name Hero plan that I purchase. And lastly, I will provide you with the pros and cons and my honest recommendations on if or who should buy Name Hero. Towards the end of this video, I will give you a very special offer if you decide to pick up Name Hero through my link below. I will give you my six figure blogger course for free as a way of saying thank you for supporting my channel. Now let's get straight into this review. Pricing options. Click on the link in the description or type this into your browser. It will take you to my special Name Hero discount page where you will get the best discount Name Hero is currently offering. I will be comparing their shared hosting plan, although Name Hero does offer other types of hosting like VPS hosting, so they can support you when your business grows and you're ready for an upgrade. Now, there are four shared hosting plans with Name Hero. With the starter tier, you are limited to just one website. However, on the plus plan, you can have up to seven websites. And on the turbo and the business plans, you can have unlimited websites. Another notable difference is the SSD storage for the two cheapest plans, which have been converted to the NVMe storage on the two more expensive plans, which means a further increase in performance. Same goes with the memory here. You can see from the cheapest plan is one gigabyte of RAM all the way up to four gigabytes of RAM for the business cloud. So those are the main differences between the four plans, although their two highest plan does offer you a free domain for the first year. Now a great free unique bonus, which Name Hero provides on all their four plans is their website migration, where they will personally move your website to Name Hero for you completely free of charge. One thing I found a bit disappointing though with Name Hero on all their plans is they don't provide the free automatic daily backups. You would have to buy this as an upgrade on top of this price instead. This is a feature that I think is very important and all hosting providers should provide to you for free. But overall, between these four plans, the decision is very simple to make really with Name Hero. If you're a local business who only needs one website, or you're starting out with a very low budget, then I recommend you choose a starter cloud plan. However, if you want to have multiple websites, then I think the best plan to start on is the Turbo Cloud plan. The business cloud will not be necessary unless you're migrating over from another hosting provider and already have lots of traffic running through your websites. And the Plus Cloud plan is just a little bit limiting with the seven websites. So I'd leave that alone also. So now I will choose the Turbo Cloud plan for this tutorial to test them out. Now let's talk about the price of domains. So I usually never recommend anyone buy their domain name from a hosting provider. I always usually tell them to go straight to the domain name provider as hosting providers are always so much more expensive. However, for Name Hero here, for a .com domain, it'll set you back $12.98 plus the $2.98 here for ID protection. So it's gonna cost you roughly $16 per year which is not too bad when compared to a domain name specialist like Namecheap, which I use myself and always recommend, they will cost you $12.98 per year with the WhoisGuard included for free. So it's only a $3 price difference per year. But if you wanna have all your domain names in one location like I do, then go with Namecheap. But if you're confident you wanna stick with Name Hero and you want the easiest way to set up, then Name Hero is okay to go with. The next thing on pricing is their billing cycle. So Name Hero has four payment plans, the three years, two years, one year, and one month. In this case, I always recommend everyone go for the three year plan. This will save you a lot of money. And when people buy hosting plans, they normally stick with it for a very long time. So there's no reason not to go for the longer plan. And Name Hero has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with it from the start, you can always cancel it within the first month. But if you are, then three years should be no problem at all. The overall pricing score I would give Name Hero is nine out of 10. They are a cheap hosting provider starting at just $2.86 per month. They use Lightspeed Cash for WordPress on all their plans 
which is one of the best and most efficient ways of speeding up your WordPress website right now. This technology is not available for many hosting providers. It is usually available to the more high-end services. So well done to Name Hero here for bringing this feature to all their customers at a very affordable price. I did take one mark off them as they don't offer the automatic daily backup on all their plans. This is something I believe is very important for users and web hosting providers should give as a standard feature on all their plans. After purchase setup and ease of use. Right away from Name Hero's main dashboard, you can see that it looks pretty clean and not all jumbled up. There is only really one thing to do from this page, which is to click on your service. And then from this page, just choose your service again. And here's our main dashboard for my website. So there's only really one more thing to do again, which is to click on the C panel. Name Hero doesn't have a custom dashboard with shortcuts like many other hosting providers do. But if you're one of the OG users and are used to cPanel, you will love this. But if you're a beginner, it may be a little bit harder to use as you will have to do everything from the cPanel. Just a side note, if you need to contact support or buy a domain name or do other things, it's going to be on the left hand side here. But right now for me, we want to test out how easy it is to install our WordPress website. So let's go try it and click on the cPanel. Then we want to scroll down and click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Click on Install. And now from this page, select your domain name that you want to install WordPress on and make sure you delete the in directory as it will install your website on a subdirectory instead of your main domain. And now for site settings, put in your site name, put in your description, and we come down and make sure your admin username is not admin as that'll make it easier for hackers to get into your website. Once you're happy with that, we scroll down to the bottom and you can click on install. And that's it. Well, that was fairly easy, but standard for all cPanel WordPress installs. Now let's see how easy it is to install an SSL certificate. However, Name Hero already has an auto SSL installer, so it's automatically done for you. For example, you can see here the HTTP, this is not secured, but if I click on that, it's going to take me straight to the secured version. See that? The lock is ready to go. That means our site is safe and secured already. But if you want to double check, you can go to cPanel and SSL certificate. And you can see here, it's already there. Well, that was also easy, right? Because you don't have to do anything. This is much easier and simpler than many other hosting providers, as some of them make you jump through hoops and even trick you into buying the paid SSL certificates. Now lastly, what about the email accounts? Let's see how easy that is to create. So we scroll down, click on email accounts. Now click on create, type in your username, password, go to the bottom and click create again. And that's it, it's that simple. Our email account has been created. Overall, I would score Name Hero a seven out of 10 for setup and ease of use. I really like their clean user interface with no upsells plastered everywhere and the fact that it is cPanel will suit many OG WordPress users. I did take three marks away from them because they don't have a custom user interface and you can't really do anything on their dashboard as there are no shortcut buttons or anything else there. Speed and uptime performance tests. So after I have installed the basic WordPress site, I went ahead and tested out the speed of the barebones website using GT metrics. The result is 1.4 seconds. This is a great start, even though this is not the fastest in my test, I must say they are very close, so there is some potential there. So now I will take it a step further and add some design elements to it to increase the page size. And don't worry, if you are overwhelmed looking at this, my course that I will provide you for supporting the channel will guide you through this step by step. I'm also going to install some free plugins to speed up the website, WP Fastest Cache, which is for speed optimization, and Short Pixel, which is for image optimization. And lastly, I will install the free Cloudflare app, which will also increase the website performance with their CDN. This will make it more comparable to what you would do in real life. The new website layout looks like this with all the new plugins and apps installed. This beefed up website speed is now 2.9 seconds, 
which is once again not the fastest compared to the top performing ones in my test, but they were still able to just pass Google's recommended site load speed of 3 seconds. So not too bad overall. But Name Hero still has one thing up its sleeve to try and improve on their speed, which is the Lightspeed Cache plugin. Now, if I replace WP Fastest Cache with Lightspeed Cache plugin, which is recommended by Name Hero to be the best free choice, the speed is now 2.7 seconds, which is a slight improvement of 0.2 seconds. So they have done okay here. Now, I have also been monitoring the stability performance of Name Hero with Uptime Robot and can report that their uptime for the last 30 days is a perfect 100%. In fact, they have not had any downtime for over 50 days in a row, which is very impressive. Overall, I would rate Name Hero's speed and uptime performance an 8 out of 10. I took two marks away for their speed, as it was a fair bit slower than the fastest hosting providers from my test. Their uptime reliability, however, is awesome, as they did not have one second of downtime in two months straight. So well done to Name Hero on that part. Here's a quick question for you. What is your page load speed and who is your hosting provider? Let me know in the comments section below. Support. Name Hero provides 24 seven customer support through email, live chat, and phone calls. I would test them out by asking them these three different questions on live chat. One, I would tell them that I have been infected by a virus on my website and ask for their help. Two, I asked them a quick question about their domain name renewal costs. And three, I asked them if they could do me a favor and install an SSL certificate and Cloudflare for me as I am a complete newbie and have no idea how to do this. And here are the results. For the first question, I was half happy with Name Hero's response here. They first wanted to try and make me send a separate email about escalating my concern instead of just doing this for me who is their customer. And this shows a slight lack of care. They also took too long to respond with the malware report. It took them 9 hours to be exact. However, I was happy with their help in their email response. For the second question, this one was done well and they answered all my questions about domain name costs in one go clearly and everything took less than 5 minutes. And for the last question, they were willing to help and did everything for me right away and it only took them about 15 minutes overall to finish everything which I was really happy with. With regards to their response time, I contacted them at three different times of the day to make sure I get an overall average and not just a biased fast response time during their off-peak hours. So the three response time were 3 minutes and 20 seconds, 1 minute and the last one was 2 minutes and 20 seconds. The average of those three times turns out to be around the two minute wait, which definitely makes Name Hero one of the better hosting companies in terms of response time. I think the max wait time for any hosting company should be kept to under five minutes, and Name Hero easily passed this. Overall, I would have to score Name Hero's support a seven out of 10. Their support team were generally friendly and willing to help immediately without having to ask twice and their response time is one of the faster ones when compared to other web hosting companies. I just took one mark off because they just did not actually help with the removal part of the virus scan and two marks for the way they dealt with my first question and taking nine hours to respond by email to an urgent matter. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing in my review so far? If so, make sure to let me know by liking this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more quality content like this. Features. So let me first start off with the cons. First one is not having a free daily backup. This is just not good enough nowadays. Every decent hosting provider is expected to have this, plain and simple. You can't underestimate how critical this feature is for your website and you shouldn't have to pay extras for it each month. The next con is their back-end dashboard. It does not have any customization or shortcut buttons to help you build your website easier. They pretty much only have one button for you to click on to access the cPanel. This feature would have been especially useful for beginners. Pros. The first pro that stands out to me is Name Hero's speed and uptime performance. They have a decent website speed compared to the price you pay for the service and their 57 days straight of no downtime is amazing in itself. They are a very reliable hosting provider. 
The next pro is the fact that Name Hero has two different server locations for hosting your website, one in the United States and one in the Netherlands. This will greatly increase your website speed for your visitors if you or your business are located outside of the United States. Another pro is that Name Hero offers free website migration. This means that Name Hero will move your website from your existing provider to them for free when you sign up with them at the start. You simply just have to open a ticket, fill out the form, and their technical support team will take care of it for you. Not many shared hosting providers offer this to you for free, so kudos to Name Hero here. This is a quick note regarding my bonus offer to you. If you decide to get Name Hero through my link, then just send me your receipt to bonus at .com and I'll send you access to my course right away. It's that easy. Recommendation. Overall, I have given Name Hero an average score of 7.5 out of 10. They are a solid and reliable host with acceptable speeds. So this is my recommendation for you. If you're looking for a cheap hosting provider with decent speed and uptime and specifically want to use cPanel, then Name Hero is worth considering. However, if you are more of a beginner looking for a friendlier user interface and even faster performance, then I don't think Name Hero is the one for you. Now, I think picking the right hosting provider for your business is such a crucial step, so it's very important to get this right. So if after watching this review, you think Name Hero is not the right hosting provider for you, then I recommend you check out this hosting alternative, which I know will do the job for you. But if you're happy with Name Hero and ready to go to the next step, then go to this next video and I'll see you over there.